Today we're going to take a look at focus bracketing on an Olympus OMD E M1X camera. Fairly easy to get to the focusing bracket menus. You come down to shoot in menu 2, then across to the right, right at the top, bracketing. Go to the right, put it on, go to the right, come to the bottom, with all sorts of things you can bracket focus, but we want the bottom, focus bracketing. Go to the right, down to on, to the right, focus stacking on. There seem to be an awful lot of ons. Here we can set up how many pictures you take during the stacking process. It can be 3 to 15. We're going to go for the maximum. Come back. The focus differential is how far the focus changes between each shot. That can be 1 to 10. We're going to stick at 5. And the charge time is if you're using flash you can give it time for the flash gun to recycle but we're not using flash so we're not bothered with that having set everything we now hit the OK button and keep hitting the OK button until we get back to there and now we're ready to go all the settings are in place we now just need a subject and we're going to use a widgety group when I was in Australia a few years ago I took with me a list of all the things I wanted to photograph while I was there and the top of the list was a widgety grub and this fits in with my theory on how you could make money out of wildlife photography in the days when you could make a living from it it was no good photographing polar bears, tigers, lions, mountain gorillas they were very expensive to photograph the last time I was in Uganda it was 600 US dollars per day per person just for the permit for mountain gorillas plus all your other costs, your accommodation and transport etc and every day there's people there photographing mountain gorillas and polar bears and tigers whereas not that many people travel to the other side of the world to photograph a witchetty grub at the same time it has to be a subject that's well known newsworthy otherwise there's going to be no demand for the pictures well witchetty grubs are very well known in Australia unfortunately I didn't find one so I didn't photograph one and didn't make my fortune but on the way home in Brisbane Airport I went into the, the gift shop and there they had a widgety grub. That's how popular they are in Australia. And the great advantage of this widgety grub is it keeps very still. It's a fridge magnet. So this is the setup. I've put the widgety grub onto a rule so that would give us an extra aid, a visual aid to see what's going on. Uh, the camera is going to take 15 pictures and for each picture it's going to change the autofocus slightly and then finally when it's finished it will combine those 15 pictures into one picture which should be sharp from the front to the back of the grub. So this is the results. If I click on the first picture I used uh, the 60mm macro Olympus lens and I shot wide open which is f2.8 which would give me a minimum depth of field to avoid a messy background and I focused by moving the focusing point onto the tip of the nose of the widgety grub just where this red arrow is and that's the first picture in the sequence and if I go forward the next picture it takes it brings the autofocus very much forward well in front of the 18 on the room so as I now go forward, you can see the 18 is coming sharp. Now the 19 is becoming sharp. And we keep going. Now I think at that point, this is the last picture, that black dot there, the second from the end, is sharp, but that one isn't. So we go to the next picture, which is the combined picture. This is where the camera has automatically stacked them all together and yeah that back one is not sharp everything is sharp from the second from the back forward to the tip of the nose so if we go to the next picture the second time I did it still f2.8 but this time I focused on the second black dot in where the red arrow is so that's the first shot of the sequence it brought the autofocus forward to 18 on the rule and then each shot went further forwards so the 19 is now sharp and onwards and this is the last shot 
and it combined them all and it's sharp right from the tip of the nose and the black dot as well. So this is something that can be done on the computer in post-production and there's quite a range of software out there that will do the job but it is so much easier when it can be done automatically within the camera.